Hi fellow simmers and welcome back to another tutorial. Today I would like to show you how to build a doghouse. So it's gonna turn out something like this one. It is functional and um, you can ask your, uh, your dog to go inside it. So let's just uh, check it out. So we can get our dog here snowflake to lie down hopefully. And we can see the dog takes uh, quite a different way to get inside the house than through the door, but it is functional. And I have also seen the dog actually use the dog door here, but it, yeah, maybe it's a glitch that uh, the dog can walk through the walls or, yeah, at least that's just what happens sometimes. But let's get on with the tutorial. So as you can see here, I've chosen to build the dog house on the diagonal instead of just on the straight tiles and the reason is that if we do a dog house that's one by one tile it turns out very small and if we do one that's two by two tiles it's somehow a little big bit big for me at least maybe if you have a bigger dog then it's fine maybe you want to try something that's even bigger and that's also plausible but for this tutorial, I'll just be doing it on the diagonal here. The steps work just as fine if you choose to do either one of these. Okay, so let's get started. So first of all, you start by choosing your wall height. You will go into these half walls. And I think the wall height that I've chosen here is pretty good for the small dogs but you can also do one that's a little bit higher or lower okay so we start by drawing our one by one tile to begin with perfect the hard part comes in now where we have to put the roof on because the roof is going to be lower than it usually is and usually we can't put roofs on half walls so what we're going to do is we're going to draw just a regular room that's a little bit away from this one that's going to be important in a while so we make this room and we put our roof on it i like to just drag the eaves in a little bit so i can see better what i'm doing now you want to move this room down so that this line here is level with this line. Then you can kind of go into uh, a different camera mode. You can use the Sims 3 camera. That's a little bit better for this, I think. But yeah, you can just try and level it. And then when you think you're done, you delete the room and then you drag the roof over. And here, I think I did it in the first go. I could also make it a little bit lower if I wanted to, but I think I like the look of this. So what happens if you don't delete the room is that it can't actually drag the roof onto the smaller height here. So it is very important that we actually just remove the room before we drag it over. And the only thing you need to do now is just uh, pick one of the dog doors that came with the cats and dogs pack. We have uh, this one that kind of looks like a small barn door, but there's also an even smaller one here. And I think we also got a third one. Yes, this one, which is a little different than the other ones. It looks a little bit more fancy. But from here, it's just decorating. So one of the, some of the most important things are to, for example, change uh, this on the half walls, definitely putting on some roof trim. I think some of the bigger ones work the best. And then just decorate how you would decorate a normal house. So yeah, that's, uh, that's it. Don't forget to decorate the inside as well. It is definitely like a small, cute, decorative uh, detail. It is functional, as I said. Like if you put a 
dog bed. Maybe some toys in here. Then we can actually get our dog to uh, to go inside the house, and it will also uh, go in there by itself if it's the only place that it has a dog bed. Yeah, and again, it walked in from the side. Maybe that's just uh, how it's gonna be. Yeah, so that's it. Thank you so much for following the tutorial. Also, if you want to see a tutorial on how to do a treehouse like this one, I'll just leave it in the cards so you can see it. And if you liked the video, please feel free to subscribe to my channel. I put up mostly speed builds, but also these tutorials. Or just leave a like on the video so I know that this is the content that I should be making more of. Yeah, and I hope you have a great day. Bye!